Today we are going to learn how to create sign and page in Figma. Let's get started. Preview. Let us start designing the sign in page. For that, create a new design file in Figma. Then change file name to Web Design 1. After that, select the frame tool from the toolbar and choose 169 presentation frame from the frame tab. Then go to main menu, select file and click place image. Then place the background image into the frame, background image link in description. Then select the background image from the layers and change its width to 1920 pixels. Then align it to center. After that, select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and create a rectangle. Then change its width and height to 960 and 1080 pixels. Then align it to left and align it to center. Then change its color to white. In sign in web page, we have eight texts, two inputs, and one button. Let we consider two inputs and one button as three rectangles. So we need to create eight texts and three rectangles. To create texts, select the text tool from the toolbar and type the text MA Tutorials. Then select the text, hold the Alt key, and drag it down. Then press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the selection. After that, select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and create a new rectangle. Then change its width and height to 483 and 60 pixels. Then change its corner radius to 16 pixels. Then select the rectangle, hold the Alt key, and drag it down. Then press Ctrl plus D to duplicate the selection. Hold the Shift key, select the rectangles, and move it to the bottom of the frame. Then hold the Ctrl key and select the background image in the rectangle. Lock it in layer section. Now, let we add styling to the texts. For that, select the MA Tutorials text and change its font to pop pins, font weight to semi bold, font size to 25 points, and color code to FF7980. Then select every text, excluding first text, and change its position. After that, select the first text and change its text to Welcome Back. Change second text to Please enter your details. Third text to Email. Fourth text to Password. Fifth text to Forgot password. Sixth text to Sign in. And seventh text to Don't have an account. Sign up. After that, select the first two rectangles. Remove fill. And add stroke. Change its stroke color code to D0D0D0. And stroke to three points. Then select the third rectangle and change its color code to 5D54F1. Now let we add styling to all the texts. For that, select the first text and change its font to pop pins, font weight to semi bold, font size to 43 points, and place it in center. Now select next four texts and change its font to pop pins, font weight to medium, font size to 20 points. Then select the sign in text and place it inside the rectangle. After that, change its font to pop pins, font weight to semi bold, font size to 20 points, and font color to white. Finally, select the final text and change its font to pop pins, font weight to medium, font size to 16 points. Now we are going to align all the elements. To do that alignments, select the first two elements, change its vertical spacing to minus 5, and vertically align both texts. Then select second and third element. Change its vertical spacing to 27. Then select the first input rectangle and place it near to the third element. And select the third element. Change its vertical spacing to 6. Then select input rectangle and fourth element. Change its vertical spacing to 27. Then select two elements and move it down. Then select the input box and place it below password text. After that select fourth element. Change its vertical spacing to 6. Then select input rectangle in fifth element. Change its vertical spacing to 12. Then select the sign in text and place it inside the rectangle. Select both elements. Then press Ctrl plus G to group it. Then move the sign in button near to the forgot password. After that, select forgot password. Change its vertical spacing to 36. Finally, select final text and sign in button. Change its vertical spacing to 36. Select everything. And align it to vertical. Then change email and password text to left. And forgot password text to right. Then select everything. Group it and align it to the center. 
Yeah, that's wraps up the video. Subscribe MA Tutorials for next part of the video. And there we go, that's wraps up the video. Hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon. I will see you next time.